Apple has finally refreshed the 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina display, but is it worth your hard-earned cash? Well, today we're going to take a look at the specced out model, do an unboxing, and some benchmarks. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Hey what's up everyone this is Dom and as I mentioned we are taking a look at one of the top end models here we have the 3.1 gigahertz i7 processor with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of internal storage and as we open up the box here you're not going to find anything different from any other MacBook Pro unboxing but we have the MacBook right there on top let's go ahead and move that out of the way for a second first up we do have our power brick which you can use to plug into the wall and charge up your MacBook and we also have our extension cable which can attach to the power brick to give you some extra length and finally we have our documentation kit in which you will find a quick start guide a couple of apple stickers and a nice little microfiber cloth so like i said not much to see here moving around to the left side of the macbook we have our magsafe connection point two thunderbolt 2 ports a usb 3.0 port a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and two microphones on the right side we have another usb 3.0 port our hdmi output and an sd card reader currently with the third 13 inch MacBook Pro and the 12 inch MacBook, Apple has implemented a new force touch trackpad, which is different than any other trackpad you've ever used because it's pressure sensitive and uses slight vibrations to simulate clicks. So as you can see, there's really no movement to the glass surface at all. And like I said, there are small vibrations or haptic feedback that lets you know that you've made a click. And really it feels just like a regular MacBook trackpad. I didn't have any problem getting used to it at all. The slight vibrations definitely give that click clicky feel which is satisfying to know that you're clicking on something so that worked out perfect for me but with this we have added functionality so we have a force click and haptic feedback on this new trackpad which will unlock new features within OS 10. If you click and continue to press the trackpad will sense the pressure being applied and OS 10 will initiate what is called a force click. This new feature will allow you to do different things with different data within different apps so it's going to be different all across the board but if you want to find out more about the force click actions that I've discovered, I've actually made a new video on it, which I will link down below. But as you can see here, for example, if we force click on a word, we can quickly pull up the definition. And it's just kind of weird. It's a long press kind of, but with some pressure. And you can actually see the pressure building up right underneath the word there as I press harder on the trackpad. So it really does sense the pressure in your finger and when you push all the way down, it pops up that definition in full. As I mentioned, if you wanna check out all of the new force click features, I've actually made a top 15 video which you can check out using the link below. So let's go ahead and run some benchmark tests. And first up, we are jumping into Geekbench 3 where we are running the 64-bit test. And here the 13-inch MacBook Pro scored a single core score of 3583 and a multi-core score of 7660. And if you like to compare this to other models, I will leave a link to the detailed Geekbench score down below in the description. Next up, we are heading into Novabench. And as I mentioned, if you want to compare these scores to other MacBooks or other laptops, I will leave the results linked below. But here we scored 831 for the Novabench score and all that detailed information you can find out below. But we are moving along to Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. And as you can see, the results are off the charts. The improved PCIe-based flash storage is hard at work here and this is just stupid fast so let's just leave it at that it's very fast and you won't have any problems here finally we are testing out the OpenGL and CPU performance within Cinebench here and we came in with an OpenGL score of 29.28 frames per second and a CB score of 342 just in case you were curious about real world performance I actually cut this entire video together using this MacBook and it was wasn't too bad. I was able to edit 4K video just fine until the export, which took about 35 minutes. So not too bad given what's inside of it, but that is quite a long time. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and overview of the 2015 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina display. And if you did, feel free to leave this video a thumbs up as it does help out the channel a lot. And check out the video link below for more force click features. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Thanks again for watching everyone. This is Dom and have a great day.